That's so embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? You're ashamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. When he asks, what are you doing? And you're like, I'm in bed. And then he's like, what are you wearing? I hate that question. Like, what the fuck do you think I'm wearing my pajamas, stupid? Like, obviously I'm wearing my pajamas. I'm in bed. Do you think I'm wearing laundry in my mother's house? Who do you think you are? Like. guys a couple of weeks ago i asked um i did like a question poll thing on instagram and i asked you guys what you'd like me to talk about in my next chit chat get ready with me and a lot of people said relationships relationships someone said relationship tips um like it was <laughs> It was mainly about relationships, so I was like, you know what, let me talk about that. Um, someone asked me to talk about um, how do you know if a guy is playing you. And so I was like, hmm, okay, not that I am experienced. <laughs> that came from a very deep, dark place. Not that I do, but like, I basically said, you know what, let me talk about that. And I made like a couple of notes um, so that I don't start rambling in the video. And yeah, I think let's get into it. Let's talk about that. How do you know that a guy is playing you? So this is mainly for the ladies. Um, I don't think guys are going to watch this video anyway because it is a makeup video. So yeah, um, I hope I don't miss anything. And by the way, these are all my opinions. They are not facts, they are not to be taken as facts, they are not to be taken as, like, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm firstly going to use this Master Fix, and I'm going to use it as a primer, but I know you're supposed to apply it, like, after doing your makeup, but, um, I just want to use it before, just so that it helps, mm. just so that it helps the makeup stay in place, and I'm still going to put it on again after applying after applying my makeup so yeah this is the Maybelline lasting fix spray okay so the first point that I made how do you know if a guy is playing you? the first point is like if you're always the one that's initiating conversation if you're always the one that's always saying let's go out you know you're always the one that takes first i mean i feel like a relationship yes is a two-way street so he obviously can't be the one that always takes first you get what i'm saying there has to be a time where you also have to text first as a girl but like if you're always like when i say always i mean like 100 percent of the time if you're always the one that's initiating conversation and you're always the one that's like um, so like dude let's meet up or dude let's do something then definitely like something is off now, I'm not saying by that time okay he's already playing you know like something is definitely off and you have gotta look into it you know what I'm saying you can't always be the one that takes first that initiates everything you know what I'm saying Cause let me tell you something about men. Men are like natural. I don't know. Like naturally, men are made to pursue. Now I'm a feminist, and I believe it can go both ways. If a girl likes you, they're allowed to go and pursue you, and ask you out first. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be only guys. It doesn't always have to be guys only that are the first ones to initiate conversation and whatever. But at the same time, it's like it should be a two-way street. It shouldn't feel like it's dragging you and you're always the one that is the one that starts conversations and the one that takes first. And just the one that's the only one in the relationship. Because sometimes 
you find that you're not single like in a relationship with someone but then you're the only one in that relationship like it happens you know what i'm saying like and that's honestly so draining because it's just like what the hell like so yeah that is the first point if you're always the one that's initiating conversation okay so the next thing that i would say is a point when a guy is playing games playing games playing games so i'm gonna use this maybelline fit me to highlight my face and i'm just gonna go where i usually highlight my face you guys know the drill okay so i'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender okay so the next point that i wanted to make when you know that a guy or how to know if a guy's playing games and he's not serious is um if like he is emotionally unavailable so emotionally unavailable means that like this person is just not here like they you know like when someone's not available physically but like emotionally this time it's like you text you call and then they're not available that's physical you know when someone's not available physically and then emotionally it's like with emotions so i'm sorry if you guys hear background noises but like it's like when you open up to someone about anything like let's say you had a bad day and you open up on a deeper level like something maybe that happened um in your life and today reminded you of that day or something like that and you realize that you're the only one that's doing all the opening up like you open up you talk you open up but it's not reciprocated like he's not like oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys you got you guys are gonna hear a lot of noise in this video but i am so sorry um but yeah like he's unavailable in terms of like emotions and you just feel like he doesn't open up to you because i feel like a guy that likes you or appreciates you or is just interested in me in general they will tell you how they're feeling you know guys most of the time don't like being vulnerable let me see the guys that i've been with like they don't like being vulnerable you know what i'm saying like they don't want to talk about their feelings they don't want to be in their feelings they want to like talk about emotions they don't want any of that i'm going to contour with this and this is the pro concealer this one is from la girl i'm just gonna go there and there as well as on my nose and forehead so you're always the one that's opening up and you just feel like they're not reciprocating the energy and it sucks because it's like how are you gonna have a connection if it's one way if it's like a one-way street do you know what i'm saying like it's it's just not gonna work you know what i'm saying and yeah like when you talk about feelings it's like he brushes it off and he's just like whatever like okay cool so what did you want me to say like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> that type of person you know like a relationship should be your, your safe space you should feel like you can open up to someone and they can open up to you you know what i'm saying so obviously now if they're emotionally available you're also going to hold back opening up you're not going to want to talk about your emotions stuff like that so there's just going to be a lot of emotional unavailability and that's not a relationship like it's not going to work you might as well call yourselves acquaintances not partners you get what i'm saying because an acquaintance is someone you know but like you don't open up to in that kind of sense so yeah that is the one point and then the other one is if you ask him like what are we and he goes around in circles every single time i mean i don't know what's up with guys hating that question like what is it like do you guys not want to commit yourselves or if a guy's watching this video please tell me down <laughs> Tell me down below because we like to know. We'd, we'd really like to know. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, but like, yeah, if if he's just not there, and you ask him like, dude, what's going on? We've been together. For like three months you've been doing things that people in a relationship do but like when you ask him what are we it's like oh it's like you asked him a really deep essay question for english paper to matric like is it is it that hard like <laughs> is it that hard to answer oh that laugh i'm so sorry guys so i'm gonna go in with this to set my face and this is the revlon Candid um, banana powder setting powder. So, this is just gonna set the concealer so that it doesn't move and it stays in place. And so, yeah, that is the one when you ask him, like, what are we like? What are we doing? Like, what's going on? And he just doesn't have an answer for you, it just keeps on going around. So, I mean, sometimes guys don't like tell you immediately because they're trying to figure it out themselves too but like every single time like you've been together for three months for, for, for no like let's say eight months to a year and you've been asking that question and every single time the same answer or like they're just uneasy about the answer they're just not straightforward honey like one thing about men they like to keep it straight like if they like you and they want you to be wifey they will let you know you know what i'm saying and then the next one is he says i'll take you out and i'll take you out and i'll take you out and i'll take you out but never really does you know what i'm saying like i really want to talk about this one because like it's almost like you, you're in a relationship with the with the words that he says and not him. Oh my gosh, this powder doesn't want to open. Ooh. Okay, it's open. It's almost like you're in a relationship with the words that he says and the promises that he makes um, to you, but not the actual physical action. And that honestly sucks like I I'm someone that loves action like I, I don't want you to tell me you care about me and love me I want you to show me you know and I feel like that goes the same with women with more with a lot of other women um, like you want to see action I mean words are like flattering stuff like that I mean I'm in love with fantasy I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie like I love fairy tales and fantasy but like I still want to see action don't just promise me things that are not gonna happen you know what i'm saying so he keeps saying let me take you out on a date every time you're texting like he draws this picture of like you guys going out in your head and he tells you i'm gonna take you out to this place i'm gonna do this for you and it's, it just never happens and every time you ask him he's like yeah i'm planning it i'm working on it and still honestly it does not happen like you, you you sit down one day and you realize oh my gosh i've actually never been on a date with this guy and it's like that is so embarrassing are you not embarrassed are you not embarrassed <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you're not ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassing okay i said the concealer now let's move on to the eyes i honestly don't know what to do with my eyes but i think i'm gonna go and play with color if this doesn't work out <laughs> hey i obviously i cannot do it again because i'm filming a chit chat get rid with me and i'm talking about stuff so if this does not work out guys <laughs> but i think i'm gonna go in with something like different and new because i feel like i always do the same kind of looks but i'm gonna go in with this red because i'm wearing red and i'm planning to use my red lipstick that i recently got from essence and it's such a beautiful lipstick i've never used it on my channel so i'm gonna go in with this color from the nightwind palette chic cosmetics i actually learned that you pronounce it chic cosmetics not chick cosmetics i used to say chick <laughs> But it's chic cosmetics, so I'm gonna use that, and I'm honestly hoping that this turns out good, cause 
if it doesn't like child I don't know okay so I'm gonna go in at the switch beauty eyeshadow palette for transitioning I always go to this palette because it's very neutral when you're doing transition colors as you can see it's very neutral colors it's not too bright and I'm gonna go in with Lissetti, Priya and Chelsea like these three colors over here to transition okay I can't remember where I finished the last point or what I was saying but like if a guy likes you like guys he will put in the effort like he will put in the effort he will make you feel loved and you know I read somewhere where someone was like um sometimes people don't know how to show love like they were brought up in a home where they weren't really taught about how to express love like they're able to express everything else but love and it happens some people were loved harshly in a household or some people were just not showed love and sometimes we need to consider that or put that into consideration that not all of us are brought in a home where we are expressive about our love for someone like for example the small things like saying i love you at the end of a, the small things like saying i love you at the end of like a text um or a, f a phone call rather let me put it that way those small things like you think that everybody does that or says that but that's not the case like sometimes that seems a bit bizarre or like taboo for some people you know what i'm saying but it doesn't mean they don't love you though you know what i'm saying but like guys best belief if someone likes you even if they don't do like the most romantic things maybe because they're not used to it or whatever or they just don't know what to do even if they don't but like they will make you feel that like they will put in the effort and they will like i don't know like at least try to see you if they can't take you out on date they will at least try and see you face to face you get what i'm saying so I honestly don't believe in this thing some people don't know how to show love i know people show love differently but like if someone really cares about you they'll find a way to show you love honey if you didn't take anything from this video find this one like they will find a way to show you how they love you they will it might not be the same as your previous partner but they will you understand what i'm saying like there's no such thing as oh i don't know how to show you love i just don't know how to show you the shop up like no ways shut up like the the hell is that are you not embarrassed this is embarrassing <laughs> i'm so obsessed with saying that like it's actually embarrassing <laughs> my best friend is gonna laugh if she's watching this okay so i'm gonna cut my crease guys i am so scared with the color i'm about to go in with like I'm always doing neutral colors and ha huh, de scared. I'm gonna go in with high key from this palette just so that it can like cover the co the harsh lines. I don't have like red transitioning colors. Do I have them? No, I don't. So I'm gonna get the closest thing to red so that it doesn't look very like out of color. I think I'm gonna go in with this one from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Burgundy Bar eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to go in with this burgundy kind of color. And hopefully it'll, you know, go on with it. If a guy always says, I just want to see where things go. Like, let me tell you. Like I said, men are natural born chasers. They chase what they want. They see it, they want to get it. You know what I'm saying? So if he's not straightforward with like where he wants to take you and everything, because he doesn't want to leave things in the open in such a way that some guy comes and takes you, some other guy takes you. Like he wants, if he truly loves you, he will make you feel like, okay, I want you and you alone. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing I can definitely say about men. Like he does, he wants to mark his territory and say this is my girl. Like he doesn't want to show you. You know what I'm saying? So now if he's just like leaving it in the open, like I just want to see where this goes. Ah, wait. 
nigga does not care like we don't do that here we don't do that here like you gotta be verbal you gotta say what you want you know like you gotta say what you want okay guys i'm gonna cut my crease and i'm hoping for the best if this makeup does not turn out good i'm honestly like i don't know i'm gonna take it off <laughs> Ooh, child okay that's the one he says i just want to see where things go and honestly that's wrong like like i said in the beginning of a relationship obviously you want to figure out where you both are and where you want to be but like every time it's i just want to see i just want to see i just want to see ah baby girl playing playing games playing games playing games he flirts oh this this next one is one of my favorite he flirts a lot but does not take you out like but i think i've i've, I've mentioned this before like like when you're texting go like he says all the right words he paints these beautiful pictures of what he wants to do for you what he wants to do to you <laughs> what he wants to take you out on but when it's time for action it's like ooh, child you gone missing like he's gone missing i honestly cannot do this without talking so i'll catch you guys after cutting my crease okay guys so i'm gonna go in with this color from the nightwing palette and it's adulting honestly like i just show like i'm so scared like this is very bright and it's still guys i this is the type of look you would do for Christmas. I want to go in with this one over here. It's very important to have transition colors that are more or less close to what you're trying to achieve. So if you're trying to achieve a red look, you need to have at least transition colors that are red. I think I like it. It's coming together. It's coming together. Okay, but then guys, I like it. Like, I'm digging it. It's very out of my comfort zone and it goes with my shirt. More or less. <laughs> okay, let's carry on with the topic. Um, The next thing is everything is sexual to him. Like, everything every time you try to have a conversation it ends up being sexual it, it ends up being like sexting you know what i'm saying like every single time and i feel like a guy that likes she will want to know what's going on in your mind more than just sex you know what i'm saying like they want to know how you doing did you eat are you fine like mentally where are you during this times or whatever you're going through like everything with a guy that doesn't like you is sexual because that's just what they want i'm gonna align my eyes and i'm using the rimmel waterproof eyeliner and so like a guy that doesn't care about you and just wants that one thing will always make everything sexual like what are you wearing like when you ask when he asks what are you doing and you're like i'm in bed and then he's like what are you wearing i hate that question like what the do you think i'm wearing my pajamas stupid like obviously i'm wearing my pajamas i'm in bed do you think i'm wearing lingerie in my mother's house who do you think you are like everything is sexual when it comes to um guys who don't like you because they just want to use you for that one thing you know what i'm saying and i just like i said guys and i'll say it again when this guy's done i feel like this video is gonna be so long and i hate lengthy videos they're just tedious and horrible to edit but i'm gonna put on my lashes guys and i will be back to talk about the rest of the stuff and yeah guys so i'm back <laughs> i just put on my lashes and i have like two more points to make and then we're gonna finish with the video so I'm just trying to check if I said everything. Cool. I think I did say everything. And I'm now going to move on to my lip. And then I'm going to use this. This is from Essence. This is their 24 hour stay matte. I mean 8 hour stay matte. 
liquid lipstick these are my favorite i said it in my last one of my previous videos because i have the dark face one this is in the shade 08 i dare you like it's beautiful i really wanted a red one and i like the one that i bought recently previously it's called dark face and honestly it's like my favorite I like this matte lipstick okay but I just want to quickly go fix this because it's too much okay guys so we're almost done and I'm using the this is the highlighting and contouring palette um, this is from Scarlet Hill contour and glow palette I'm first gonna highlight on my nose Yes, honey. Then I'm gonna highlight on my cheekbones, just above. And then the last point that I wanted to make is um, how to know if a guy's playing you, honey. You just listen to his word, his actions, not his words. And then also. He's very neglectful. Like guys who don't like you are usually neglectful. They don't give you attention. They just don't make time for you. Like I understand that we're all busy and that we all have like our own thing to do. But like if a guy really doesn't like you guys, like he will be very, very neglectful. Like every single time when it's time to see each other, hey Mutuayu. No, I was busy. Hey, I was doing one, two, three. Hey, I was working on something hey i was like it's always just excuses they're just very neglectful they're never available they're quick to say oh i'm a girlfriend i'm your boyfriend i'm a girlfriend but like when it comes to showing it it's like where you at though like <laughs> you're saying one thing but you're showing me another so yeah that's just one thing i can say with it like to give you guys advice like don't listen to his words listen to his actions and i deliberately said listen to his actions i didn't say look at his actions like don't listen to his words listen to his actions all right now i'm gonna set my makeup let me just check if that's all the points you guys because i could be forgetting something um oh yeah i think i've said this like they don't really have deep conversations um about the future like with you um, it's usually on the surface kind of conversations and they just don't have conversations about the future because they don't really see a long-term effect with you or long-term effect they just don't see like a long-term thing with you like a long-term relationship so everything is just usually on the surface kind of conversations and even when you try to have a deep conversation it's like they just don't want to hear it like they just don't they just don't want to talk you know about it so yeah that is all that i can literally say um like i said they're all my opinions so just because someone did something one of these things on the list it doesn't mean that automatically they're cheating or they playing you so it's like you know what i'm saying that's just my opinion and honestly i recently went through um a breakup it hurts it's it's painful but like we move guys like life needs to go on you know what I'm saying like and I say this in the best possible positive way like life needs to go on your life doesn't have to stop so if you feel like someone is literally wasting your time like it's no use staying in something where you feel like your time's been wasted do you understand what I'm saying if you feel like your time's been wasted honey move you are not a tree like you're not a tree you can move and just set yourself free for for god's sake like just set yourself free okay so that is it from my side i hope um this was helpful and informative oh i'm gonna quickly set my makeup yes honeys we're done thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe i feel very christmasy like it's christmas you know i think i'm gonna recreate this look definitely for christmas 
I'm definitely going to do vlogmas, by the way. So yeah, let me close off this video and, th and say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Bye.